Hey everyone, welcome back to part 3. This video will focus on making all the wiring connections and getting the car up and running for the first time as well as starting the tuning process. This should be pretty straightforward as all the foundational work is already complete. Let's jump right to it. Alright, so I'm getting some wire ready to go into the trunk here. This portion of the wire is going to go to the fuel center unit through the grommet inside the trunk. So it will be exposed to the elements. So I've gone ahead and added some shrink wrap. Once these connections are made, we'll put another piece over there and make it nice and nice and sealed so we don't have any issues. The rest of it will run through the trunk here, down through the door, underneath the dash and connect up to the front. Got the blue wire coming from the sniper, which will power the fuel pump. Um, I only had a few different colors to choose from in the, in the 12 gauge I had available. so. We're going to do a little mix and match here on colors. So we'll use the black for the ground. Uh, we have a yellow and a red that will be used for the gauge. So this will be an ignition switch to send power to the gauge. And this will be the actual return for the gauge. I should probably use this for, for the power and this for the gauge, even though it's yellow at the other connector. We'll just make sure we don't swap those colors up. I always like to keep power on red if we can, but odd choice of colors from the factory that they would use use blue here. So if you're wiring this up, make sure you don't swap your colors. Here we feed the shrink wrapped portion of the four wires through the trunk grommet, popping out right next to the power antenna. All right, got plenty of slack in here, a couple of feet. Go ahead and connect these up. Fuel pump in the front. So we'll go ahead and get the red. Sorry, go ahead and get the gray to the blue, which is the fuel pump sent from the sniper. We'll go ahead and use yellow to red, purple to the yellow, and then black to black for the ground. Make sure you get solid connections here as you don't want any problems popping up in the future. I've gone ahead and used 12 gauge buck connectors that supposedly you can heat shrink on the end, but that didn't work out too well. When this gets buttoned up at the end, we will shrink wrap and wire loom everything and then secure it to the frame rail. All right, so we got the wires in, connected. I'm just gonna run them down here, follow where I already kind of pre-installed the blue. It's just six screws to take off the sill plate. There's one kick panel down here. And the only thing we need to run up to the front from here would be the ground. We'll terminate that at the battery. And now we need to find a ignition switch, which is also what we need for this pink wire which is coming from the sniper as well. You can ignore this red wire. This is from a stereo system. The guy previous center had put in that is not working right so I've disconnected it. We'll also have to tie into the fuel gauge, tap into that wire since I did not use the factory wiring from the trunk. So this part is super straightforward. With the sill plate and a few trim pieces removed, I can easily pull back the carpet and hide the wiring. About every 20 inches or so, I tape the wire run to keep everything a little tighter as I move along the install. Alright, so we got everything wired up here. Not gonna tidy it up until we know everything's working. Not gonna connect the gauge right now. I'll worry about that at the end when I tidy things up. So we got ignition, fuel, ground. Everything's connected at the battery. Let's go ahead and get this little screen hooked up. To a little connector, I'll run that. Run it through the firewall in the same spot that all those other wires are coming in. 
We just got this plugged in. Just a quick little connector. Let's see if, see if we get life. All right. Let's check, make sure we get the fuel pump working. And then just kind of clean things up over there. Get the throttle body clear of anything and make sure everything's hooked up and safe and fired up. Let's go ahead and get started. Eight cylinder, of course. It's a 327. Start with 750 target idle speed. Stock mild cam, no supercharger. Gonna run off the coil negative. Please cycle the ignition to complete the operation. Smells a little gassy, running a little rough, but I'm sure it's got to do its thing. It's probably have more calibrations to do, so let me go ahead and get started getting some of the stuff cleaned up. So we're a little safer here. We don't want to set anything on fire. Certainly don't want to get anything in the engine bay once it warms up. So let's fire it up. So that concludes part three. Part four will cover the finishing touches and some fine tuning of the sniper firmware, as well as plenty of exhaust notes and cruising. I can't wait to get this car back on the road into its first car show.